Okay, Bill, we did it. We're all packed for London and Paris for an eight day trip and we got it all in the carry-ons. I didn't even have to sit on it to get it closed. <laughs> Anyway, you want to see what we got in here? We followed a lot of the airlines. Well, we had to follow all of the airlines rules yeah. and regulations. <laughs> anyway, it all starts in just a few seconds. All right, Bill. So I got to tell you something. I'm really disappointed in you. <laughs> I figured you'd have a lot of room left in here. <laughs> carry on for a lot of my clothes and it worked out you got more clothes in yours than I do how did that work out you know what it is a lot of the materials I'm wearing um, they're not necessarily really really warmer but they're a bit of a thicker material than I notice a lot of what what you're bringing All so right. it filled up mine a lot quicker All right. Well, the idea of this video is to show you how we got everything into our carry-on luggage. We're talking about eight days traveling overseas. Um, it's going to be warmer weather, but we still need good shoes. We need our toiletries. We need all of that sort of thing. So I'll go first and show you what I got in mine. Let's see. We're just kind of doing a bit of a makeshift video here. So let me just see what I can show you. And Bill, if you can help me out a bit here. Sure. All right, now hopefully you can all see this. We'll just hold it up like this. Um, yeah, I had to throw this in, in my luggage, because Bill had no room in his luggage. But this is one of those converters, because we're going to uh, overseas to another country. We got to make sure that uh, we can plug in our, our cell phones and all of that. The camera. <laughs> yeah, so we need that, and uh, that's a Targus. Hey, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put some links underneath this video in the description so you can find some of the things that we're showing here. But um, if you saw my video on the Awesome Over 50 uh, YouTube channel, that's now the beauty and fashion channel because this is the inspirational right. channel. But um, I showed all of the clothes that I was going to wear, and I am so proud of myself. I got them all rolled up nicely. Isn't that incredible? It even looks neat. I know. <laughs> and so, you know, that's a whole dress right there. And I just, I even got the little jean skirt in that I said I didn't know if I could get in. But uh, let's move over here to this side. And Bill and I, we always bring our crossword puzzle. Book. It's our, uh, it's our travel crossword puzzle. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not so much into the movies and things like that. So a lot of times we play. Um, well, we don't play. We we <laughs> do our crossword puzzle. So I'm a little awkward here, but we'll get through this. Uh, so we've got that there. Um, also in here, I have. I'm just sort of looking in a mirror here. I have my bras. I have my shoes. Uh, I am being honest here. I did get it all in in the back here is my makeup and then I also got uh, Let me see they're over here. So underwears uh, Where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Hold on <laughs> Where is it? Maybe she's not so organized eh? <laughs> I'm making a big mess. Oh, of course, it's down here Anyway, Bill hold that <laughs> this is something that I really wanted to show you because when you're going through customs they are going to uh, make sure that they look at this and uh, I'll put it all back later but this is your little toiletry bag and they'll also be looking at your makeup as well but in the toiletries you have to be sure that you are putting in the right size toothpaste, deodorants, um, any creams that you have, you have to downsize them. Mm -hmm. They will not let you on um, the airline, on it with the carry-on that is, with anything that's oversized. So let me give you a little bit of an example here. I also have a little first aid kit. Um, I also have, you know, cotton swabs in here. But the most important thing that I wanted to show you is the sizes of what you can and cannot bring. So I'm going to have my hair probably curly because it's naturally curly, but I want a little bit of curling cream. I cannot take the large container. They want you to take little containers like this and also um, in a see-through pouch. And in Bill's case, you're just using like a Ziploc bag, right? Pretty well, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, that has got to be in there and really 
watch the regulations, take a look at what they're saying and follow the rules or you'll end up like Bill did one time when we were going on the Caribbean. <laughs> what yeah. happened to you? Oh, I just forgot to put my shaving cream in my carry-on, or sorry, in my check luggage at the time we were bringing it and I forgot it was in my uh, carry-on. Oh, and you're not bringing slippers by the way, Heather. Why? Because her, her cane, her slippers just fell out now, <laughs> and her cane's munching away on them down on the floor, so, uh... All right, well... Her but anyways, cane. I couldn't get on because I forgot to put the large uh, shaving cream in my uh, check baggage. So, Bill, it's your turn. Let's see your luggage. Wow, okay. Yeah. I've got an older uh, carry-on, but still very effective. And oh, by the way, one of the things I want to, just as Bill's getting ready here, you really have to watch your carry-on luggage. Like, don't just sort of say to somebody, hey, can you watch my carry-on while I go and get a coffee or something? Because, you know, you uh, could be getting to a new country and somebody might have slipped something it, into your carry-on. You know what? It, it sounds so obvious, but it happens. You, you just forget, you know? Or you just say, oh, I'm going to head over. I don't want to drag this over there. Yeah. So you have to be uh, mindful of that. Now, on this particular uh, carry-on that I have, I have an outer pouch. And um, sometimes they make you take out your toiletries uh, and put them through separately. Not all the time, but just to speed things up, I've got that all ready here. Now, I don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, I have to get some shaving cream. I'm going to pick that up tomorrow before we go. But I've just got the usual, uh, the toothpaste that's uh, under 100 milliliters, that's fine. My deodorant is, is meets regulations. I've got little bits of cream in a, in a bottle. Um, I got my razor, I've got my contact lens solution, which meets, again, airline regulations. There's even a little picture of an airline on the, on the box, so it's good. So, and my toothbrush, everything's ready. All right, I'll help you here to show the rest of what you've got in there. Oh. <laughs> it's a jam packed pill. It's like a suitcase, but it's not. So up here I've got... Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> However, that's for a reason because, you know, when you start putting in your, your socks and underwear, you can put them in a plastic bag and, you know, ah. this zips up so I can keep it all separate from, from the rest. Uh, so I've, I've got a nice... This is a linen shirt. I don't know if you can see it. I've kept it in its, mm -hmm. uh, in its plastic. It's a nice white, take this off white linen shirt. So I have that so, you know, if Heather and I go out to a nice dinner. When we go. I ha yes, I have something <laughs> nice to wear. Um, also, I've got, uh, this is like a little short sleeve, uh, what would you call that, Heather? No short sleeve top. but uh, It goes over a t-shirt. Notice how Bill is also rolling his clothes as well. Yeah. Um, these are, like he said about his material, they're more like cottons. You don't mm -hmm. really get into, guys don't really get into the stretchy jersey kind of clothing. Right. Um, but he's rolled them up in such a way that uh, they fit in nicely. And then, of course, you'll hang mm -hmm. them up when you get to the uh, hotel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hope you can see this. Now, it, it looks packed, but again, they're, they're rolled up, they're, they're in there, and once you get to the hotel, you can hang them up or fold them in a, in a drawer. I've got a sweater here. It's a very, it's a very light material, actually, and I can wear this just as it is, without a, a shirt or a t-shirt under it. So if it's a little cool in London or that, I can wear that. Um, what about a raincoat? You know what? That's one thing I forgot to bring up for this video. I don't have a raincoat. I have like it's like a wind windbreaker, mm -hmm. and it's lined, not not with wool or anything, but it has a, a lining to it, and it has a hoodie, so I'm covered like that. And again, I can roll the thing up too if I want. Or and this is what you're wearing on the plane, yes. right? Yes. Uh, I've got some uh, denims on. I've got my new denims on, so they look look a little presentable. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got some nice pair of uh, slip-on casual shoes, and I've, I've got this nice. Uh, what do you call these? Uh, polo top. And I love the material. I know you can't really see it from there, but it's it feels cool. Like, very cool. It's not warm or hot. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. designer top, and we got this last year at a, at a bargain, and it's just, just so nice to wear. Okay. All right. So, we're just going to lightly go through yeah. um, another top here. A long sleeve top. You've got a pair... Are these long sleeve... No, Those these are, are shorts. shorts. Okay, I've so got, got a pair of shorts. shorts. You're wearing jeans, right? I'm wearing jeans. And again, if you want to know what was in my... The clothing that I took, um, it's in the Awesome Over 50 Beauty and Fashion channel. So, it's YouTube. 
um, slash awesome over 50 and you'll see all my clothing mm -hmm. but another pair of shorts now I'm only bringing about two pairs this is more of a dressy type short okay and uh, again I can wear that in change with tops to go with it I've got a little pair of shorts I wear at night mm -hmm. so I don't really need pajamas you know thick pajamas and I'm looking down here okay you got socks you got undies we don't have to get into all that but you brought your uh, big sneakers your big athletic sneakers. I, as you may or may not know I have some uh, some feet problems, so I have to have my arches supported all the time, and I have to have good shoes. And if we're going to be doing a lot of walking, uh, you know, depending on how we're dressed, but I've got a pair of uh, you know running shoes that have good support, and I'm going to put a proper insole in it that gives me the arch support. All right, so I'm just going to take a real quick look. You've got some more. This is mm -hmm. a nice little white. Uh, T-shirt mm -hmm. that you have. It was rolled up. Yes, it was rolled up perfectly. <laughs> and then uh, some other things. More There's tops. your other pair of shoes. And then you also have a belt in here. So typical guys. Sorry about this, Bill. You're going to have to pack <laughs> it all up again. But you can see how much you can get in when you roll them up. You can get so much in there. Mm -hmm. So that makes a um, difference. What I want to show you right now are some of the things. Um, well what I'm going to wear, but also things that we got uh, into my purse mm -hmm. and also you're going to be bringing another bag besides the carry-on. My camera bag. Onto the uh, airline. So let's get into some of that stuff right now. Now besides our carry-on, we are allowed each to have a bag. And again, mm -hmm. make sure you check the size of the bag. No great big duffel bags or something like that that really mm -hmm. is a suitcase. Sure. Um, for me, uh, I want to bring a purse that I can also bring, you know, if I'm going out for dinner, something nice. But if you have uh, seen a lot of my videos, you know that <laughs> I put a purse, I usually carry a small purse, a purse in a purse. And so that's what's going to happen in this case. I'm going to have a purse, and this is what I'm taking on the airplane, a purse in a purse. Um, the other thing that I'm going to take on the airplane, they should allow this uh, in customs, oh, yeah. a couple of wrapped granola bars mm -hmm. because we never know it's an eight hour flight when we're going to get hungry and these always come in handy although we are ordering dinners on mm -hmm. the um, on the plane. Now mind you in a lot of situations now there's fast food places out and you could maybe maybe you just want to have a submarine sandwich or something and most of the airlines let you take that on the plane to eat so there's another tip there um, also another thing that I want to take with me this is a portable charger for both of our cell phones so I will want to make sure that I have that and of course don't forget your charger you know that you need to take that that goes in the purse a lot of the things that I don't want to be digging out of my carry-on I'm going to be putting in my purse um, I will be wearing my go belt uh, around my waist that will have credit cards it'll have some extra money mm -hmm. and you're having a go belt as yeah. well and again when we're out sort of sightseeing we want to make sure that we're wearing that and not just being obvious mm -hmm. that we're tourists um, and of course in that go belt I will and again the go belt is so fantastic I'm going to put links um, underneath in the description so you can find mm -hmm. some of these items uh, I also have my passport and um, Bill there's something that you learned about the passports right uh, oh what was it called the RFID uh, I believe <laughs> correct me I, I was unprepared for this <laughs> Uh, I think it's RFID. It's uh, apparently they can be your documents can be scanned electronically. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that works, but so they recommend putting a lot of your credit cards and passports in these blocking RFID blocking uh, devices. And also or, the or other packages. Sorry. The other thing is um, with your passport too. For a lot of countries, if your passport is going to expire in three months. You right. might not be able to be in that country. And there's also, I mean, there's, may might even be six months. So mm -hmm. really look up before you go to the country that you know what you're doing. Right. Um, also, you sometimes you need a visa, right? You were yeah, saying that from, as well. Yeah, you know, we don't, but maybe, uh, I don't know where you are in the world watching us right now, but perhaps uh, you do require a visa to go to certain countries. So yeah. you got to check that out too. And I heard in the next coming year, um, Europe is going to be charging 
a flat fee to travel to various countries. Ooh. Yeah, I'll have to read up on that and I'll get back to you on that. And as I mentioned to you, we're going to London for stop, so I will be wearing a raincoat on the plane that wouldn't have fit in my uh, carry-on, and I can roll it up as a little pillow yeah. if I need on the plane, because um, I'm obviously not going to wear that the whole time for the eight-hour flight. Uh, what else do I have? I will be putting an umbrella. This is one of those little travel umbrellas, folding that up, because when we get to London, guess what? What? It will be raining! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bringing my sunglasses anyway, too, so uh, what else do I have here? Oh, I'm putting in my purse a pair of socks. So the reason for that, I <laughs> know. Hey, if you're wearing sandals or you're wearing sneakers like I'll be wearing on the plane, I'm not wearing socks, but I'll tell you something. My feet get cold on a plane, <laughs> so I want to make sure that I've got some nice little warm socks. I can roll them into a little ball, fit them into my purse as well. And the other thing I wanted to mention to you, we're not bringing this with us, but this is one of those. Can you explain this a little bit, Bill, what this is? It's just a luggage scale to weigh your luggage. Now, we're not bringing checked luggage. However, um, you did see what we both put in our carry-on. So um, before we go, we're going to be weighing our, uh, our carry-on and make sure that it's, it's within their guidelines. And just go, to, go online, check out the airport, or sorry, the airlines you're flying on and see what their guideline is for weight, because sometimes they differ a little bit. The other thing is, um, this is my, you can probably tell, it's my forever travel <laughs> list. And I'm not going to go through it all right now, but you know, certain things have to be on here, like the chargers. Oh, my vitamins. I need to make sure I have my vitamins. Oh, she, and, She's high maintenance. Oh, yeah. And you know, we also want to make sure we're bringing, let's show your camera and what you're going to bring. Well, um, this is the camera bag. Yeah, and so you're bringing that on the plane. But there was batteries. something you said about the camera that was really important. Right, which I've got to go do again because I, I lost it. I'm, I'm going to bring the original receipt mm -hmm. when we purchased this camera here at home. Uh, we bought it a couple of years ago. Just just in case, you know, mm -hmm. when you're, you're going across borders, you know, sometimes they might ask you, did you purchase this here because it's very expensive and you say no, <laughs> but you got to have some proof. So I'm going to make sure I find that. Thanks for reminding me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tuck it in the bag as well. Um, now you have a little, uh, it, this is, you're not just carrying a camera bag around because if he carries a camera bag, he's definitely Mr. Tourist. What do you put this in? I brought a little uh, knapsack here or backpack, whatever you want to call it. And the great thing about this, you, you heard how we, and saw how we roll everything up so there's no wrinkles and it fits easier into our, our carry-on. Well, it's the same with this. This is, this can roll up. I won't do it right now, but this rolls up and folds into its own little pouch. Mm -hmm. So it's really tiny. So I could put this in Heather's purse. <laughs> I'll, I'll carry it, but it, it's so tiny that when I'm ready for it, it just, way it goes and I throw it over my, my arm and our back and ready to go. When you go away, maybe you play this back and you go, oh yeah, the crossword puzzles, let's take that. And oh, I better not forget to weigh this and check that out and uh, check our passports, make sure they're not within the three months because we want you to have the most amazing time. Like vacations, yeah. they're so special. And, uh, yeah. and can I just say something, Heather, sure. before we wrap this up? I'm a little old school when it comes to traveling on an airplane. I like doing the crossword puzzles with her. I like doing maybe a word search. I like reading the magazines they have in the little slots in the <laughs> seat in front of you. Uh, you know, I like talking. Sometimes not just to Heather, but to somebody else that's on the plane and it's fascinating and, it's and, and the time just flies. It is really nice to talk about where we're going mm -hmm. and, and you know you're you're actually already there as you're on the plane so right, it's kind right. of fun but you know somebody who's not coming with us uh no hurricane <laughs> <laughs> let's bring the little guy in and uh talk about some of our upcoming videos so here he is the cuteness factor he's gonna be with our daughter and um, you know what i want to talk a little bit too about Paris and London. <laughs> we are going to, on this channel, we are going to show you our, uh, our little escapades. Is that the right word for it? Our little jaunts in London mm -hmm. and Paris. And we're planning to go on the Eye and Buckingham Palace and double-decker buses. And 
we're going to go to the Louvre and we're going to see the Eiffel Tower. We have like so many things planned. Yeah, it's going to be typical tourists, but why not? And we want you to tag along with us on this uh, Awesome Over 50 Inspiration channel because that's where you see it all. And over at Awesome Over 50, the uh, Friday videos for beauty and fashion, mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing a little bit of shopping and I know I can't bring back a lot of stuff but I want to show you some of the fashion and shopping areas in Paris and also in Piccadilly Circus and Covent Garden and uh, I'll be putting that on the Friday video so again uh, Friday videos are awesome over 50 and the Tuesday videos are awesome over 50 inspiration that's our new second uh, channel mm -hmm. so I guess you know what Here's the best way to have a great vacation. First of all, plan it. Mm -hmm. Put it on your fun list and make sure that uh, you do that. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure it's on your fun list. list. And also, what you want to do is you want to be prepared. Mm -hmm. You really do. You don't, you don't want to get even just to the airport. You're all excited and, oh, the passport's no good. Or, oh, I have to, you know, throw up all of my makeup or or whatever it is you just have to be so so careful because that's the way mm -hmm. you're going to have a great vacation sure. and you're going to keep it awesome <laughs> keep it awesome <laughs>